Hey, <laughs> another short video to explain the difference between fasting, starvation and anorexia. Because there's a huge difference between those three. Um, fasting is deliberately not eating because you want to use all the energy for your healing instead of uh, for digesting your food. Starvation is when there's no food available, so you're forced to not eat. So that is involuntarily. And anorexia actually has nothing to do with food. Uh, uh, unlike what a lot of people are thinking that food is the problem. But it is that you think you have lost the control of something in your life. And the only way of having a sense of control is controlling the intake of food. Um, and that there's just a lot of other things playing with being anorexic but because not everybody can become anorexic you know a lot of people can can uh, can can fast uh, um, but it, it will never go to anorexia you need an underlying psychological reason to become anorexic um, so that's also a mental problem uh, in addition to and it, it the symptom is anorexia but the cause is a lot deeper than that um, so with my videos of fasting I do not want people to think that I'm starving myself um, because I'm not doing this for weight loss although I will lose maybe 15 kilos in 30 days uh, but it's not for the weight loss that I'm aiming because I will regain that weight again after I refeed um, for me, it's really to give a reset, a reboot to my body. And for that, you first have to take things down. So you have to make sure that a lot of damaged cells are broken off before you can rebuild. Uh, you, while eating, you know, new cells will never come. You have to first break down the damaged cells and replace them with the good ones. And if you want to have a really deep healing... You have to make sure that the body is deprived and breaks down these cells. Uh, if you keep on eating, those cells will never will never go away. They will keep on circulating. And I'm aiming for healing. I, I want the, these damaged cells to go away and then, you know, replaced by new cells. And Lauren Lockman, he says that you need at least... 21 days of fasting to get really to the deep healing of your body uh, and I always try to go for 30 days but I normally I'll see how I feel um, so I'll take, take you uh, with me on that journey but I don't want people to worry um, because I am not overweight <laughs> uh, but any person can fast it is not that if because you're slim or skinny that you can't fast. Everybody can fast. So if you're obese, you will lose a lot of weight. And if you're more slim, then you will just lose less weight. Your body adapts, uh, really. And your body can handle a lot more than you think. <laughs> um, so I am 1 meter 81. So that's 5 feet 11. Uh, and I am 62 kilograms. So I've got a very healthy BMI, but uh, yeah, of course, when you're fasting and you're losing weight, I can go down to 52 or 50 kilograms. And, and at that time, yeah, you can see that I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty skinny. Uh, but after that, I get actually much more healthier. And that's, that's what I'm aiming for, of course. I, I want to get rid of this disease. And... And I want to do anything, really. If I had to eat dog shit, <laughs> I would do it <laughs> if, I, if that would give me the healing, you know. So for me, the fasting is, it's great that there is a solution. Because, you know, all like for years, I thought there was no solution. I was desperate. I actually gave up on myself. And now knowing that fasting is a way to get better. To heal myself, to cure myself, I think that's that's wonderful, and I just want to pass on that message to people who think that there's no answer for their disease, 
well, have, have they considered fasting? And not just intermittent fasting, because that's what I hear very often, like 18 hour fasted and then eating in a six hour window. Yeah, that is, that's fine. But if you want to go into that deep healing, you, you need to fast for a lot longer. And, and your body will adapt. It will learn how to fast. It's, uh, I've done this before. I've done this many times before. So I am not worried at all. Um, but I, I can imagine that when you do this for the first time, that you don't know really how to trust yourself. You know, you might be afraid that your blood pressure is going to be too low or that you're going to be dizzy or um, really have to take it easy and build it up. And you have to train your body to be able to fast. And if you've done it a few times, your body's getting cleaner and cleaner, you will feel a lot better. Um, and you want to repeat this. Even when I'm cured, I want to repeat at least a yearly fast. Because that will prevent me from getting sick again. Uh, it's not just when you're cured, then you think you can go back to the, the old habits that you had before. You know, I'm, I would like to stay on the carnivore diet, you know, forever. Uh, because I know it's working for me. Why would I go back to eating fruits and vegetables if that's going to make me sick again? And, and I know what it feels to be sick. You know, and a lot of people, they don't know really what it's like to be sick. And uh, they often say, oh, you know, um, focus on something else. Yeah, focus on the positive things. Or think about the things that you want to do. And that's all fine. But when you're really sick... You only have one wish. And that's that's to heal. And all the other things. They're bonus. You know. After you're cured. You can, you can focus on something else. But as long as you're sick. The first priority. The only priority in your life. Is, is your health. If you do not have your health. You have no life. I, I, I know, because I know from experience how that is. I was so sick that I had to be 24-7 in front of the air conditioner with my head. Because I would have an attack if I did not have that. And if I wanted to go somewhere, I had to bring a, a fan and ice packs to cool myself. That was no life. How can you enjoy things if you can have attack at any moment? Really, the only thing you want if you're sick is to get healthy again and to get your life back, to enjoy life. We've been given this life not to suffer, really not. And, and you have the power to heal and take back your life. So that is... I want to give the message to the people that if you fast, also when you're healthy... You will keep other diseases at bay. You, that's prevention is also always better than cure. You know, and, and it will give you strength and power. Because you can know, I can do this. I can do without food for a month. You know, it's, it's crazy. But let's say in the next couple of months that in the grocery stores, there's going to be less and less products on the shelves. Then you might think, okay, well, I can do without food. You won't panic right away. And I think that is, that's important as well. You know, you know that if there's a food shortage, you're not going to panic right away. So, um, and I think another advantage, of course, you know, if there's a lot of inflation and, uh, <laughs> you know, fasting is, for, is free. You don't have to spend any money. Um, you don't have to go anywhere. You know, it, it's, it's free. It's there for you to try. When you're desperate enough, you're going to try it. And uh, you'll be surprised of what you can do, what you can achieve. And 
Maybe you'll not be cured after the first fast, but just keep on going because you will get every time a step closer to complete healing. I promise you, that is, that is the truth. <laughs> Trust your body. It is self-healing. So this is uh, my message for those who are maybe worried. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I will make videos that like, you know, you will see me lose weight, but you will not see me lose spiritual strength. It will be the opposite. I will get stronger and stronger. That's my message of today. I wish you a nice evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>